Hey guys, welcome back to another video today. In this video, I'm going to be analyzing two of my games, which got me to 1000 in chess.com. So let's get started. So my first game that I'm going to be showing you was my game against a 1009. And my accuracy was 91 and 0.9. I made z zero blunders and zero mistakes and only one inaccuracy. So I'm pretty proud. I didn't make any brilliant moves. So let's analyze this game. So start with e4, c6, the Kurokan, and then knight f3, and then d5. Uh, they go e5, I go c5. Just getting good to center with these pawns, because now they can't really open the center now. So they gotta go c3, then uh, d4. And then, and then I'll just go knight c, knight to c6, the bishop to g4 to pin, so I can get the pawn. Uh, so they play knight to c3. I can already just attack them with the d4 pawn. Uh, knight to c6, bishop to b5, and bishop to g4, and then h3. I'm, I'm supposed to be taking in this position. Uh, that's what I was supposed to do. Uh, I forgot. I was just playing really quickly. So I forgot. And then uh, I just brought my bishop back. And then uh, e6. And then knight a4. And then I did this check. Hoping they would block with something else. So I could win a piece. Which they did. Bishop to d2. Blunders a piece. When queen takes b5. And then they took. And then I got an extra pawn. I mean they got an extra pawn. But like. I'm winning because I got that other pawn. Uh, then I was able to win another pawn and then trade off queens, which is way easier for me. And this game would be way more simpler with queens off the board, so that's what I wanted. Uh, yeah, uh, yeah, this is just completely winning. Uh, I went to go trade off more pieces. I was able to uh, hit my king, traded off rooks. Wait, oh, sorry. Uh, here. Uh, in this position, they played, um, uh, I was hoping, like, something like rook f4, mate in one, uh, and the king is mated. I was hoping for that, uh, but that didn't happen. I still chased down the king, uh, I took a pawn, they took a pawn, I, I, okay, even though I'm losing a bishop, I'm, I'm winning. Which is pretty good. I was like, okay, I'm winning. I might as well just trade off pieces. Brought my king, took a pawn, pushed pawns. I made one. Sacked my queen for a pawn, defended my pawn, and then pushed my pawn to victory and was able to get another pawn and make another queen and able to mate. So this was my first game to getting to 1000. So let's go to my next game. Let's uh, so wait, why is this one? Uh, so this one, my rating was uh, 988 when it happened. So uh, it's only 22 moves. Actually, what's funny is uh, all three of my games from now on are 22 moves. So let's start with E4. Actually, let me put game review. And uh, this one, I also got a pretty good accuracy. Uh, no blunders, one mistake and two inaccuracies. So that's pretty good. Uh, I play Caracon again. Uh, exchange variation, the basic stuff, and then just, and then I just got my position uh, pretty good. Nothing can really. They gotta go c4. Uh, I got my bishop. Uh, I got doubled pawns, which was pretty annoying, but I was able to get rid of them here. Uh, so this is pro this is really good for me because now I have good uh, center, and now I have a pass pawn that I could just push. But they didn't, so uh, this happened. And then uh, traded rooks. And they, um, so what happened to their game was uh, they got disconnected, so the game aborted for them. But uh, this is what I wanted to happen where I push here, and like something where the knight goes here to defend its mate in two. That's what I was trying to do when my bishop was back. That's why I moved my bishop back. So f6 is pretty good. Um, there's no... You can't defend both these pawns. Uh, that's not possible. 
Uh, S6 is the best though. Because even though they take your pawn, you still get a like, check or something like that. And, um, yeah, these pawns are pretty strong. I I'm down a pawn, but, like, I don't have any past pawns. But it's better than me losing. Uh, actually, Rixy one checking there. Uh, I'm, I'm, I'm plus one in this position. So, uh, I guess I was winning. Uh, probably because I like this or something like that. And I have that be, like, checking. Uh, so it says game may have continued. Uh, this... Oh, uh, this is what they wanted. Yeah, I just stuck a pawn. I don't know. Yeah. So, um, the next game. So, as you can see here, uh, both the... All, well, this one is 15 moves, but both these moves... Both these games were 22 moves. So let's analyze it. Okay. So I went against a 940, which was pretty good. My rating went up pretty well. Let's see how many blunders I made. If I made zero blunders on all of them, that's pretty good. Zero blunders, let's go. Okay, they made a blunder though. Also, no brilliant moves. I made two great moves though. Uh, Carol Khan again. The... Billy Bard, Billy Bard attack or something like that. Uh, that's what they played. Uh, I got a big center. Was able to attack well. Uh, like I could have traded it because honestly my position is way better. I was able to transpose it into a good position for me. I was able to win a rook, and then uh, they resigned because uh, they sacked the bishop. Uh, they were hoping for me to go here so they could. Uh, win a piece here, but uh, I went up because I um, don't think that would have happened. Uh, uh, this is what stockfish things would have happened. So that was my uh, second game. So now my last game. Uh, this was 15 moves, so they um pretty sure resigned. I don't think I checkmated in any of these. Like the first one that I analyzed, I did checkmate. So this was the game where I got to 1,000. So those other ones were me, like, getting up to 1,000. This was me at 1,000. Okay, finding tips. So my accuracy was 88. So I was white in this game. A French defense. Uh, they pre-moved. Yeah, they pre-moved, like, all of this. Well, not all of this. They stopped pre-moving, like, at about this time when I took... Actually, wait, they stopped pre-moving here. And they started actually playing. They, like, pre-moved and messed up a lot. Uh, they uh, lost a rook, and then they resigned because usually when you're down a piece, you're just going to be resigning. Uh, they would have to go bishop back. Uh, so uh, I hope you enjoyed me analyzing a few of my games on chess.com of me getting up to 1,000. And if you like, the video, I uh, subscribe and like the video. I hope you enjoyed.